this was the price then. But we don't know if they've refinanced or anything since then. This doesn't really tell us that. But wouldn't it be great if this is actually the mortgage balance for this property? And it is worth 900000 I would say assume that mortgage, definitely. But we don't know. And uh, we're not going to know. Uh, the price is 900 Do they have any more info? Okay, so it's section eight. So it's in foreclosure and the seller is motivated to sell. You got $3,000 per unit per month. So this is bringing in 12 grand a month. So should we see if it's worth it? So we're going to assume that no work needs to be done to this. We're going to look at it as a rental. I am curious about the price, but let's just go with this for right now. Because this will tell us a lot also. Okay. I think it was two, 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 and two, and one, 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 and the rent was three fifty two on the nose. I mean, for a two bedroom, one bath in the south part of Los Angeles, I have to say that's a ridiculous amount of rent. But the tenants are not paying all of that. They have Section 8 vouchers. So they're not paying this rent. But the fact that they can actually get away with charging that is a little insane to me. Okay, if it's a rental property, you're putting down 20%. Um, on the mortgage assumption, it's gonna depend on the loan. So we're gonna leave it at 20 um, because we wanna go with the most conservative option when we're doing these numbers. What was the interest rate? Was it like four something? I know. Let's look up the interest rate in 2013. Three point nine. And that interest rate is going to make a world of difference and whether you would buy this or not. That's why I'm just leaving the price as is. So with these rents and was it eight or 900,000? 
it's 900,000. Your monthly net operating, uh, net operating income is like nine grand. Okay. Uh, it's going to be a little less than that because property taxes in California are going to be higher than $116. Uh, let's see if it lists the taxes. I don't think it does. Mm, it does. It's $6,663. But that is actually the per year price. So over here... Um, you're going to change for me, aren't you? Oh, God. Stop doing that. Seriously. Um, I, I don't know why the calculator decided that that was appropriate to do. Oh, man. Or that either. It's okay, let's see if everything survived. Yeah, it did. So our gross rents are twelve thousand two hundred eight dollars. Looks like we're selling out five hundred and fifty five a month for property taxes. Um, insurance is probably more, but we're looking at about 8565 annualized 102000 cap rate 11%. So you would have to put $180,000 down on this, but you get your money back in within three years. So, could you borrow this money from a private lender, do you think, for maybe three years and pay some interest on it? Yeah, you probably could. And then you would own this Section 8 cash flowing unit in LA, where you can probably never evict anyone. So, God forbid you have any problems. But the numbers look good on this as a rental with this interest rate now let's change it back to today's interest rate i see what's happening So, you know, of course, it's not going to change your down payment percentage. But your monthly net goes down to 3,332. And then 39,000. 
And I think, to be honest, I pulled the numbers from here instead of over here. But let's go back and check. And I guess this wants me to check every time. Okay. So again, you got $62,000 that you can pay towards that. So times two, 120, 180, three years. It would take you four years if you only use the income from the property, right? But if you've got other income, but you just don't quite have the down payment, the property still um, makes enough money for you to borrow uh, uh, private money for the down payment. And not you that you can on this one especially, um, but there is a trick to where you can actually borrow the money from the tenants because um, You can, but it's highly not recommended, let's just say. But some people don't want to move, right? So you're going to have to make some deal that they're going to get to stay there. Um, I don't recommend borrowing your down payment from the tenants collectively. Even if you could like do it if you're short, try to find a relative somebody else a private money lender somebody who's not to attach the property but i saw this crazy idea where somebody was actually teaching people to buy with the to, to, to source the down payment from the tenants so uh i i, I just kind of was like wow you know all right so we have our la property we're assuming it doesn't need repairs it makes decent cash flow as long as you don't have any problems with the tenant. These numbers are good. If you have the down payment, hey, you don't have to borrow it. You're getting 62000 You get your money back in three years. That's pretty good. Um, for the most part, most rentals that you purchase outright like this with 20% down usually takes you over five years to get the money back. 